what's up everybody so um i just wanted to talk about undertaker everybody we all know he retired on sunday and uh that was that was sad to see that's one of the most saddest moments in wrestling history um if you didn't know undertaker is my favorite wrestler of all time it's the reason i started watching um so i mean i've been watching wrestling i'm thinking probably for over 20 years now i'm thinking you know so um yeah 20 years shit it's ridiculous 20 years i've been watching since that attitude there it's crazy how long i've been watching wrestling it don't even feel like 20 years it really don't um as long as i've been watching wrestling Undertaker has always been there. So it's it's pretty heartbreaking to know that he's not going to be there anymore. Um So yeah. I just want to talk about some of my favorite Undertaker moments. I mean, he's given his all to this business 27 years in the WWE, but like over 30 years wrestling period. Um, he's been wrestling since the 80s, I believe. So, yeah, that's, that's a really long time. I mean, he's wrestled hurt, sick, you name it. He's given everything to this business. Um, I mean, he, uh, what was it? He had a broken eye socket or something, and he still wrestled there. He had broken ribs and still wrestled. Broken ankles and still wrestled. I mean, look, people have been talking about, people have been predicting The Undertaker to retire since like 1997. That's that's how long people re was predicting his retirement. That's how badly hurt he was hurt. And the fact that he's now retiring in 2017, that just shows how fucking great he is to overcome all of that. Um, he's had countless great matches and moments. He could work with anybody, big or small. I mean, he's had great matches with The Big Show, Rey Mysterio, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, uh, Hogan, um, Bret Hart, Kane, you name it, anybody. The Rock, um, I can go on and on. It'll take me probably... Months to name everybody he's had great matches with. I mean, he's had great moments, uh, too. Um, let me, I'm forgetting Mick Foley. He's had great matches with Mick Foley. Some may argue the greatest um, match of all time, the Hell in the Cell, King of the Ring, 1998, when Taker threw Foley off the cell. But, um... Even before their Hell in a Cell match, they had great matches like the Barry Live match, the Boiler Room Brawl, you know, so, you know, great stuff like that. He's had, um, his, him and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 25, in my opinion, is the greatest WrestleMania match of all time. I just remember going so crazy for that match, watching it live. It was just one of the best experiences I've ever had watching a wrestling match. It was off the chain. Um, he's won the 2007 Royal Rumble. Um, he's had 25 WrestleMania matches. I don't know if anybody will ever have that many WrestleMania matches. If anybody does, the only person that will do it will be Triple H. I think Triple H is the only one that's closer to the WrestleMania matches that... Uh, Taker has had. I don't even think John Cena is going to have that many WrestleMania matches. You know why? Because I think John Cena is going to be on his way to Hollywood. I know, you know, I know he says he's never going to leave WWE, but I think he is, you know. Um, you know, he's had gimmicks like the Dead Man, the Ministry of Darkness, and he went Full-on human with the American badass. That's crazy. He went full-on human. 
the American badass. Like, and he still became a fa fan favorite there. Then he came, went back as the dead man, and he had uh, more great matches with uh, Batista, Randy Orton, um, who else? Uh, Edge. Him and Edge's feuds are one of my favorites of all time. They had the feud, the best feud in 2008, um, without question. The only people that came close to that was Jericho and HBK. That was great shit, man. Him and Edge had some great matches. I mean, their match at WrestleMania 24 was off the chain. The fucking Hell in a Cell match at SummerSlam 2008 was off the chain. Their TLC match at One Night Stand 2008 was off the chain, man. It was just so great, great feud. And I think Edge will tell you the same thing that um um they have one of the best feuds of all time. Same with Batista, man. WrestleMania 23. I hate how early that match was. That should have been the main event of that show. They had a great match the following month at Backlash 2007. They had great matches. Um, a steel cage match on SmackDown. Um, Cyber Sunday 2007 with Stone Cold as the referee. That was a great match. Their Survivor Series Hell in a Cell match was off the chain, man. And um, so yeah, man, they the feud of 2007, in my opinion. Um, he's had great matches with um, the Big Show. They've had great matches. Um, he's had great matches with uh, just the who's who of everybody, man. The moments he's had. Um, let me think of some moments. Um, uh, putting Stephanie McMahon on the Taker symbol with the sacrifice. But then Stone Cold came out, of course, and ruined everything. <laughs> I love Stone Cold. He's my second favorite, by the way. Um, just sacrificing everybody, man. Like I said, the Ministry of Darkness was dark as fuck. That shit was off the chain. That That's probably my favorite taker. Like, I love them all, but if I had to choose, I'd have to choose that one, man. It was just awesome. Um... He's had, um, let me think. Oh, when he was going to embalm Stone Cold Steve Austin, that shit was awesome. Um, he was talking in Latin and stuff. Um, yeah, man. Um, so, I mean, look, he's had a lifetime of moments, lifetime of great matches, and, uh, you know, He'll never be forgotten. He should be in the Hall of Fame next year, um, no doubt. I know he's going um, undergoing hip replacement surgery soon. So, uh, yeah, good luck on that. And, um, look, enjoy the rest of your life uh, with your wife and your kids. Rest up, heal up. And uh, you gave your everything to this company, to this business for century, uh, for um, like 27 years. So I'm saying, um, more than that, really. And, um, you know, um, thank you, Taker. Thank you, Taker, for everything you've done and, uh, gave your life. This was your life for decades. So, um, you gave us your life for decades. And I am, I, I really appreciate that. So thank you. I was fortunate enough to be able to see. The Undertaker a couple of times um so yeah I was not fortunate enough to see Kobe Bryant one of my other favorites that retired last year I was not fortunate to see him play live at a game so that sucks but um you know uh it's gonna be weird not seeing you in the match at Wrestlemania man shit that's gonna be so fucking weird and awkward man uh I'd be lying if I said I didn't tear up on Sunday when he took off the gloves and the hat and the coat. That was just sad as fuck. But I thought it was an epic way to go out, you know, with his hand raised and then he went down. That was awesome. Hopefully they do a 24 um, episode of this, man. I'd like to see what uh, happened um, backstage after the match, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, y'all. 
Give me your thoughts on all of this. What's your favorite Undertaker match moment? What's your favorite Undertaker look? And, uh, yeah. Um, thank you, Taker, man. Thank you. Thank you. I grew up with this man. You know, he's been a part of my life for years. It's going to be weird. Uh, so, yeah, y'all, give me your thoughts in the comments down below. And, um, like always, like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Rest in peace. Yeah. Alright, y'all.